Hey guys, I'm back again. It's still Saturday, but um, I was tagged to do a video by Babies in the Heart to share how I got into this wonderful, amazing hobby. So I thought I would oblige. <laughs> so I've got Miss Amy Webb here that I'm focused on and um, you'll see why <laughs> as I explain. So let me start off by, I will preface this by saying that I have enjoyed babies or loved babies my whole entire life. For as long as I can remember, I have always loved babies. And since I was a small child, I have had a multitude of different dolls throughout my life. I collected, um, let's see, Cabbage Patch Kids, um, soft cloth dolls, um, porcelain dolls, you name it. Throughout my whole life, I have collected dolls of some sort. So, for me, it was a natural evolution when these babies started to pop up on the market. And so, it began with me in 1999. Yes, this will date me. <laughs> so, my youngest was a newborn. I was staying at home with her. And I was much into the Beanie Baby craze um, back when they were like the thing. And I was browsing eBay one point in time and stumbled across Reborn dolls and was completely intrigued by them. I didn't know what they were, but they looked like more like less dolly, more real life baby looking. Now, if you've ever seen a doll dated back that was a Reborn from done in 1999 or 2000, you will know that they were not well done. <laughs> Pictures made them look so much better than what actually showed up. Um, so, yeah, it, even though it was uh, a step in the right direction from a doll you'd buy off the shelf, it's nothing like what we would call a reborn nowadays. So, I believe later that year, I bought my first reborn. I bought it because it reminded me of my youngest daughter as like a four-month-old, and it was a Behringer doll with blue eyes and a blonde wig. <laughs> Not a mohair wig, this was just a doll wig. So I was thrilled, you know, at the time I think I spent like around $100 on it and I was like, this is a huge purchase, oh my gosh. I was just so excited to get this doll and when this doll showed up and I opened up the box and saw what was inside, I was like, oh, this is not like what I pictured because it, wasn't painted well. It was literally just blushed and then a glued on wig that just was a hot mess. And it had like, you know, hand applied glued in eyelashes that were like very dolly like. So I was like, this is awful. But that did not make me give up because I was still, you know, perusing eBay and saw more and more of these supposed reborn dolls. And I was just in awe of them. And believe it or not, I still have that very first Reborn. I still have that doll packed away because that was like a momentous occasion. That was my first step into the Reborn world. So that doll got me started, um, really, if you really want to say. But then, you know, I continued to look, continued wanting to find like the ultimate realism of a real baby. And by the year 2003... I had bought, a, you know, I'd had a couple of Reborns and really got into loving these dolls. So I had a little bit of a collection at that point in time. And, you know, my kids weren't, you know, they were getting a little older. You know, I had like a four-year-old and six-year-old, so they weren't babies. And I really yearned for that. I think that's what I love about these dolls is they fill that void for me of always loving that baby stage. I mean, it's such a fleeting time in your children's lives they grow up so very quickly and so I continued to collect and one day I was you know browsing different reborn websites and just different things on the internet looking for dolls and I stumbled across Linda Webb's website and for those of you that are newer to collecting you're not probably going to know who Linda Webb is but she is one of the very early amazing doll sculptors and Miss Amy Webb here was indeed created by Linda Webb. I'm trying not to cast a shadow because I always do. So Linda Webb, if 
from that point on when I saw her website, I was in love. And I happened to actually see this very same baby doll on her website. Amy Webb, I'll never forget it. And I instantly emailed her and asked how I could purchase her, how I could get my hands on her. And she had other dolls on the website, but this doll just, I don't know, there was something that just made me feel like I needed to have this doll no matter what. And unfortunately, to my sadness, she emailed me back, very lovely lady, um, and stated that this doll had been sold and she was not available and that she'll have other sculpts, but she had, does have a waiting list for her one-of-a-kind sculptures her one-of-a-kind clay creations because they are made from clay and she was at the time also working with Ashton Drake I do believe um, for her um, doll kits so she would sculpt um, different dolls and they would create them in vinyl kits for artists to reborn so she was a very huge part of I think the craze and making quality reborn kits I would say um, I think she's like a huge part of the reborn history and I'm mean, telling you oh her dolls this doll it was made in 2003 and she still to this day it, it holds up to the realness of any doll I've ever gotten in this nursery hand hand to God that this the details the hands she even has applied that look like real fingernails like I don't, I'm not sure what, she, what type of material, whether she made them from clay, but they're, they're just amazing. They're just amazing. Um, I've had another one of her dolls while I was still seeking, trying to find out whether or not I'd ever be able to own this doll because I tracked down any Linda Webb doll I could find. And at the time, nobody wanted to give them up. And I believe she was selling them for thousands. I don't know because I never originally bought from her directly, but I did hear that several sold for four grand or higher. And I couldn't imagine ever owning one. And then luckily I stumbled upon um, when she did the clay sculpts um, one and two. And I stumbled across somebody that was selling two. They were twins. This was the girl of the two. And so I was fortunate to, ha to be able to bring her home some years after seeing this doll and she was fantastic the sculpting was like nothing i'd ever seen like ever it was amazing but then i still figured that i really really wanted i really wanted this doll so i continued to search for this doll and continued to collect um one of a kind dolls um i used to buy a lot of sandy faber's sculpts her little one of a kind dolls because i love 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 their faces i've had many of hers and lots of reborns and then silicones came on the market and it took me a long time to really get into silicone strangely enough because I'm so obsessed with it now and I couldn't imagine ever not having a silicone but um, it took me probably a good couple of years before I really delve into trying silicone and I believe um, trying to think who my first silicone doll was I don't remember I've had so many it's terrible um, I want to say that my first silicone doll may have been Winter by um, Vicki Ebling. I think the Open Eyed Winters uh, silicone baby. And she was fantastic. That was a great first um, silicone doll. I'm positive now. Yes, that was my first. And I was hooked at that point in time because um, if anybody's ever seen Vicki's work, um, she's amazing. She, it's, it's, great quality babies have cute faces um so from then i was hooked and then i discovered claire taylor which that just did me in because that's like you know buying going right from you know a chevy all the way up to uh you know a mercedes in in one fulfilled swoop and then from there i was hooked and then you know i've had many beautiful lovely silicone babies over the years but Coming back to this sweet baby to kind of tie in how I got her is about, I want to say three years ago now, um, someone who knew I'd always loved this doll contacted me on Doll Fan and said she had her, knew that I was looking for her once upon a time and she was looking to let her go to a new mommy. And I jumped <laughs> at the opportunity of having this baby finally, finally in my collection 
and I am just so thrilled that I was able to bring her home and I did. This doll is perfect as the day she was sculpted. Not a crack, not a scratch. Um, all of her originals were with her and she will probably never ever leave my nursery if I can ever help it. She's probably going to be the one and only forever baby for those of you that see the number of dolls that come and go from my nursery. But she is definitely, she's a keeper. So I kind of blame this doll in the wonderful Linda Webb for getting me so hooked on ultimate realism in dolls. And it's brought me this way. And I think ultimately what it comes down to for me is, like I said previously, I think it fills a void of missing my kids as babies. Because I loved that time frame in, in their lives when they were newborn babies. And I think this brings that feeling back for me. Um... And I don't think I'll ever not love baby dolls. It's just a lifelong thing for me. So when my mom found out I was collecting dolls as an adult, she just, she was like, well, doesn't surprise me. You've always been a, a baby person and you always will be clearly. And she enjoys my, th my um, collection of dolls as well. Likes to see when new faces are. So it's great that my mom gets it. But yeah, that's pretty much what, what got me into this what's keeping me in this <laughs> and I'll show you the basket behind that those are a bunch of older reborns um, that's one of the early ones and that's one of the early ones I actually had made for my daughters when they were younger and still they sit old Behringer babies we all remember those but yeah it's you know I love hearing people's stories so it's my turn to tag folks so I'm going to tag my friend Tina. <laughs> I'm going to also tag Stephanie in Love with Reborns 2011. Is it 10? I can never remember the date after your your <laughs> your channel name. And then let's see. Then also I'm gonna tag Hello Melissa Sue. And there are many others. Anybody else that wants to join in, I would love to hear your stories on how you got involved with Reborns or doll collecting. I would love to hear from you guys. So yeah, pass it along guys. This is great. I love hearing all the stories. So hopefully mine wasn't too boring and I'm going to sum it up there. So, all right guys, have a great rest of your evening and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.